second step punch. It's a, it's a great drill to work on your timing of getting your second step on the ground as you punch. As you can watch here, you can see number 79 to the left. Does a good job. Once his second step's on the ground, he, you can see he's punching the bag at the same time. Now right next to him, number 69, second from the left. See how his foot's a little bit late? He's punching the bag, so he's essentially blocking the man, the defender with one leg. Um, 73 to the right has the same problem. Now the coaching point here is you want to make sure they still have a good job. Talk about creating a triangle with your hands and your face mask. And 78 here, he's got way too much weight back. You see how he's standing up? Not what we want. I want to make sure they do a better job of getting their face into the bag as we punch. As you look at 73, you can see that. We go right and left on this drill. And you can also, also see they, they're going here. I, once I say go, they get set again, and then I say go again. Okay, then they get set, and then they go again. I make them do it three to four times just so they can work on the timing, and I sit there and I coach them on it. We do it right foot, left foot. You see the next group going right here. Same thing. Now, these are the youngsters now. You can see they're a little bit, a little bit uh, out of whack. You see 57 from the left taking a way too big second step okay so obviously his hands are going to hit the bag before that ground before his foot hits the ground 76 to the left right next to him it's got good timing foot's on the ground as he's punching the back he's got that triangle triangle we're talking about as does number 50 in the middle of the sled okay this is a drill that we use probably two to three times during the camp and we do it a lot during spring ball it's one of those things that we talk about working on the timing because if, if you don't get that second step on the ground as you drive block, you're not going to get the movement that we all desire. Now once, now once we go through this a couple of times, we get, I get them down into a three-point stance. Okay? Now this is where it gets a little hairy because they just took their first step and now they're trying to get work on both steps. It's just something that we do. You know, I, I don't have them drive the sled. I'm just interested in the timing here. As you can tell, they're a little bit out of whack. 79 did a good when he was up in the two point, of course he's going to do it good now. He's got good timing. Second step hits the ground as he's punching the bag. Seventy, his second step's a little too long. See how he's hopping into it? Seventy-three's timing's a little bit off as well. That second step it gets in the ground a little bit late. He's already hitting the bag before that second step's in the ground. Now here we're going left foot. Same thing. Left foot. First step, we talk about six inches, get that second step in the ground. Okay, 79 again is pretty good. 69 is a little bit late, as is 78. Talk about creating a triangle once again with your face mask in your hands. Here's just a couple more looks at it as we switch up the groups. This drill right here we call our acceleration drill. This drill is